welcome to this tutorial on using the new Band in a Box for Mac DAW plugin in Logic Pro. With Band in a Box 2019 for Mac, we've introduced a plugin that accesses all of the real tracks, real drums, and other content in Band in a Box, but can be used right inside your favorite DAW, without having to open the actual Band in a Box application. The plugin comes free with the purchase of Band in a Box, and the plugin installs when you install the main program. In this video, we're going to have a look at the various ways you can use this amazing plugin in Logic Pro. If you use a different DAW, we have other videos that demonstrate it in many other DAWs such as Pro Tools, GarageBand, Reaper, Ableton Live, and many more. First, we'll look at a quick and easy way to get started with a plugin. We'll also go through some of the settings within the plugin, then we'll look at the different ways you can use the plugin that utilize the unique features in Logic Pro. And throughout the video, I'm going to try and use a variety of Band in a Box styles, so you'll get a sense of the different genres, grooves, and tempos we cover. Whether you're into jazz, rock, country, soul, or any styles you can think of, there's something for you in Band in a Box. Right now, we're listening to some great blues tracks playing in Logic Pro that we created with the plugin. Everything that you're hearing right now in Logic was created by the Bound in a Box plugin simply by typing in these chords, and you can enter any chords in any key. Then we picked this blues style and generated the tracks. I'm going to go back in time a little bit to show you in detail how we got these great sounding tracks. We're going to start with a blank Logic project. When you start a new project, it will ask you what type of track you would like to create. The Band in a Box plugin is an instrument plugin, so I'll create a software instrument track. Logic will load another instrument by default, so let's change it to the Band in a Box plugin. We'll open the mixer by clicking on this fader icon, but you can also press the X key. Now we'll scroll to the input section and change the instrument to the Band in a Box plugin. You can find it under AU Instruments. PG Music Inc. Band in a Box DAW AU plugin. This is the Band in a Box plugin. I'll make it a little bigger so it's easy to read. Here we have a blank chord chart. This area here is for different instruments in the style and is currently blank because we don't have a style loaded. Here's where you can pick a style. Here you can set various musical elements such as the key, time signature, etc. And there's a spot for a song title and various menus we'll look at later. In order to get our tracks, we need to pick a style and enter some chords. I'll enter a chord progression first. I'll do it in the key of G, and I'll enter a basic major blues chord progression that is 12 bars long. I think that's good. I'll change some of the elements up here. I'll make the end bar 12, and I'll change the choruses to 2, so this entire thing will play two times. Now we can select a style either by clicking in the Select a Style area or by going to the Select menu and picking Select a Style. So here is the list of all of the Band in a Box styles available, and you can see there's over 6,000 to choose from. You can just double click on any style in the list to hear a sample of what it will sound like. For example, I could filter by rock styles and sort them by heaviness and listen to a few. or I could filter by funk and listen to some of those. or jazz styles.
or maybe some modern styles with synthesizers. Okay, back to the project. We need to find a blues style, so let's view all of the styles again and filter them by blues. and I especially like this blue style with the Saul Failcox guitar solo. You'll notice that in this column it shows the ideal tempo of the style, which for this one is 130 beats per minute. That does not mean you have to use it at that tempo, but if it's somewhat close to that, you'll get the best results. And I'll pick a tempo maybe a tiny bit faster than that sample we heard in the style picker, 135 beats per minute, and I'll set that in the plugin as well. When you first add the plugin, it takes the tempo from the DAW, but since we just changed it in the DAW, I need to change it in the plugin as well. We're ready to generate the parts, and there are some custom generation options in this menu, but right now I just want all the tracks generated normally, so I'll press the top Generate button. It's creating the tracks now. Notice that right now there are some green squares and a blue square in this area, and those squares are empty. When the tracks are ready, those squares will be filled in. The generation takes a little while, so we'll skip ahead in the video. So now it's finished, and the squares are filled with waveform icons, meaning they're ready to drag into the DAW. Before we do that, we can sample these tracks by pressing play up here. and we can now drag them into the DAW, which can be done individually or as a group. Here I'll show you just dragging in the bass by itself, but I'll undo that, so I can show you importing them as a group by dragging the blue icon. Logic will ask you how you want to drop the tracks, and now we have these tracks right in our DAW, and during playback, the chord chart also highlights the currently playing bar. This is a great feature if you want to record your own tracks over top of this. So you can now mix the tracks, add effects, or anything we like. And, as with all real tracks and real drums, these are real instruments played by real musicians. These are not individually sampled notes. These are actual performances by some of the top studio musicians in the world, able to play over any chord progression in any key you enter. I'll do a few similar, but quicker examples like this, with a few different styles, so you can get a sense of the variety available in the Band in a Box plugin. Here I'm typing in some chords like I did before, 
but this time I'll pick a hard rock style. Generating the tracks, now I'm dragging them in, and I've got some great hard rock tracks in my project. Here I'm typing in some chords. Here I'm picking a train beat country style and generating the tracks. Now dragging them in and I've got some great country tracks in my project. In addition to typing in the chords, you can open Bound in a Box files. Either files you've created right in the Bound in a Box app, or files other people have sent you, or even the demos that come with Bound in a Box. I'm going to open the style picker and load a song demo for one of my favorite jazz styles that features our nine part big band crooner horn section. So we now have the entire thing entered for us the chord progression, key, form, etc. So I'll just generate the tracks. Now I'll drag them in, and here's a great jazz style with a big band horn section. And, of course, in addition to opening Band in a Box files, you can also save anything you enter here as a Band in a Box file as well. I'll go to File Open, to open this demo for a modern funk style. And here it is playing. Let's load up the plugin again and check out some of the settings within the plugin. In the rendering section of the preferences, there are various options for your renders. For the master mix, you can choose to render as a flat mix, a dry mix, and a center panned mix. On the right, you can choose options like normalizing, acidizing, and padding for multi-riffs. The multi-riff padding puts blank space on either side of the audio. You can also choose to allow multi-riffs to start early or end late, notify when generation is complete, and auto-generate songs. The last feature auto-generates all of your tracks when you load a song, instead of waiting for you to click on Generate. This area allows you to specify Band in a Box program, real tracks, real drums, and saved tracks locations. In our case, we'll leave the values that are automatically set. There is likely no reason this would need to be changed, but if we're pointing to an incorrect folder, it would appear red and pressing Find Folders would set it correctly automatically. At the bottom of the preferences you'll find DAW settings, where you can change the host DAW. This is set automatically and should be correct already, but you can change it if it's wrong. You can also choose whether you would like bar highlighting in the chord sheet. What I'm going to do next is create a song with a smooth jazz groove. I'll start by generating a style, but then I'm going to start adding more tracks, which will include some MIDI and a solo that will use the multi-riff feature. So here I am typing in a chord progression in C major. And like before, now I'll load a style. I'm going to choose a smooth jazz style called Sleek. This style uses acoustic bass and brushes with modern electric piano and guitar. I'll generate the tracks. And I'll drag them in. And let's listen to it a bit. Now, you'll notice in the plugin there are green and blue squares for audio tracks. On the other side, there are also orange squares with little eighth notes in them. This means that for these tracks, there is also a MIDI transcription available. Logic Pro has some really cool instrument options built right in, so I'm going to add a new instrument, this Retro Synth. And I'm going to drag the bass MIDI from the Band in a Box plugin onto that track. I want to use this MIDI to create a modern and thick bass sound, 
so I'm going to transpose the MIDI up an octave and blend it with the original. We can do this by double clicking on the block of MIDI that we dropped, which will open the editor panel. Now I'll hold down the Option and A keys to highlight all the notes and go to Edit, Transpose, plus 12 semitones. I'll solo the original acoustic bass with the synthesizer and adjust the levels until I'm happy with the sound. I want to add an additional drum beat to this with a loop. Like everything else in Bound in a Box, when trying to find the right instrument and part, just double click to sample. I think this one will work really well. So now I'll generate just that loop. I'll drag it in. And that sounds pretty cool. I think I want a saxophone solo for the first eight bars. I'll find the right sax solo in the Real Tracks Picker. I could generate the solo once, but I want even more options available to me, so I'm going to use the Multi Riff feature to generate seven different tracks of the same saxophone soloist, so I can then choose the solo that I like the best. I'll filter the Real Tracks by Sax Solo and find something around the same tempo. This one is a little slower at 85 BPM, but it's still close enough to our project tempo of 90 to sound great, so I'll choose it. I'll also take just a moment to show you how the different tracks are laid out within the plugin now that we have tracks of various types loaded in the song. There are three main sections accessible with the scroll wheel. On top we have the style tracks, that is all of the tracks that are specifically loaded with the sleek style. Then in the middle we have the special tracks, and we have the one special loops track. Additional individually picked real tracks, real drums, etc. would go here as well. And then the bottom section is the multi riff, which is what we just picked. And now I'll generate the multi riffs. And I'll drag them in. So now we have seven of the same soloist, but playing different parts on all seven of those tracks. If we tried to play them together, it would sound pretty bad. But the idea is that we can listen to them individually and either pick the one we like the best or piece together phrases from each of them. So I'll listen to these tracks one at a time by soloing them with the other instruments playing in the background. I think I like this one the best, so I'll remove the other ones. And let's listen to the whole arrangement. For the last section of this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the unique features in Logic Pro that you can use together with the Band in a Box plugin. Let's change it up with a slow Americana ballad reel style called Sepia. I'll start by setting the key to A major and I'm going to use the style's native tempo of 65 beats per minute. Of course I need to change the tempo in Logic to 65 as well. And here I am entering a folky chord progression that I think will work well. As usual, 
will generate the tracks and drag them into the DAW. Logic Pro has some great features in the mixer that can save you time. I'll show you how to quickly add the built-in EQ and reverb effects to your project. First, open the mixer using the button that we used earlier, or by pressing the X key. Now that I'm in the mixer, I'm going to start by taking some low mids out of the drums with the EQ. I can simply double click on the rectangle in the EQ section of the drums track to open the multiband graphic EQ. Let's pull out some of the frequencies that center around 400 Hz and increase the range of this band a little bit. Great, now my drums are leaving more room in the mix for the organ. Let's close the EQ and add some reverb to our tracks. Logic Pro has two kinds of reverb preloaded in every project room reverb and hall reverb. They are both located on auxiliary tracks that can be accessed by adding a bus track to any audio track. I want to use the hall reverb and the input for the hall reverb is bus 2. So I'll add bus 2 to my drums track and both of my guitar tracks. Great, now all I have to do is increase the value with these rotary faders and voila, I have all of the reverb I need. Not bad at all but I think there's one more thing that my project needs. I want to add a fast rotary speaker effect to my organ, so I'll go to the audio effects section of my organ track, click on an empty part of the rectangle, and navigate to modulation, rotor cabinet. I'll choose a preset called gig rig, and make the tone brighter by moving the balance control closer to horn and away from drum. Okay, my organ is sounding just the way I like it. Let's listen to the whole project. This concludes the tutorial on using the Bound in a Box DAW AU plugin with Logic Pro. If you want any more information about the plugin, please go to www.pgmusic.com and navigate to support Mac Plugin. Have fun!